tonight on your own. That's the latest message Florida education leaders say they're getting from FEMA. For months, the state has been telling school districts FEMA would help them pay for critical PPE, including masks. Now the state says FEMA is walking back on that promise. Days after we were first to reveal Florida school districts banking on FEMA to help pay for personal protective gear could be left high and dry, a spokesperson from Florida's Department of Education tells us that's exactly what happened. School district leaders just finding out themselves. It is perplexing. Lee County School CFO hadn't heard until we told her. The district has already spent at least three and a half million dollars on masks, sanitizers, wipes and other PPE. We're talking about basic necessities and anticipate spending up to 10 million dollars more. While the district may have to dip into federal CARES Act money received to help offset some of these costs, it was counting on FEMA to help. These expenses are the result of an emergency and these expenses are well beyond what would be considered normal and operating for any school district. Since the summer, the state told Florida school districts FEMA would offer reimbursements for PPE costs. To date, 184 school districts across the country have submitted requests to FEMA for PPE money. Only three have been approved. While the federal agency tells us they haven't denied any requests, Earlier this week, a FEMA spokesperson told us PPE, while critical to reopening schools safely, does not qualify for reimbursements. Normal operation of schools and other public facilities are not considered emergency protective measures. In other words, FEMA money for school PPE is not an option. Hit our radar. During a webinar with superintendents earlier this week, Florida education leaders also shared confusion over the unexpected and apparent snub. FEMA may be in a place where there's been some indecision on some of these uh, reimbursements and we are you know, right here with you and we are continuing to work through that. Florida's Department of Education now allocating $30 million in grants to help schools pay for the warehouse filled boxes of PPE they've had to order but are now scrambling to find the money to pay for. It's quite an expensive endeavor and as I said, all of these things are well outside of the normal operating procedures and normal um, operating expenses that our district would typically incur. Both Senators Marco Rubio and Rick Scott had nothing to say about FEMA's apparent snub to schools but did tell us they are working with schools and looking to find options to support teachers and students. Katie Legrone, WSFL-TV.